My brothers, Allah created us for a reason, wallahi. Allah didn't create us so we can eat and sleep with women or have mates, buy houses and drive cars. We are not animals. We have a purpose in this world, wallahi. And my brothers and sisters, I have news for you. You only get one shot at life, man. There's no coming back. You only get one life, my brother. Stop wasting your life. Wake up. Make something of your life. Man. Don't be another face in the crowd. Don't be another number. Be someone that contributes something to humanity. Be someone that makes a difference. You know, my brothers, I ask myself sometimes, and I want to ask you something. Don't you want to be with the Prophet of Allah on the Day of Judgment? Really? Don't you want to be with the Sahaba? You think you're going to be with them with the life you're living? Do you think it's fair? Do you think it's fair that you are on the same level of Jannah as those men who gave up what they gave up with the life that you lived in this world? Do you think that's fair? Allah, it's not. My brothers, Allah Azza wa Jal has created us for a purpose. To know him, to love him, to worship him, to come back to him. And I'm sure my brothers now you're thinking, Allahu Akbar, man, I've heard so much. Make a move, man. Make a move. Stop delaying. Stop delaying. Come back to Allah. Come back to the masjid. Come back to the Quran. Come back to the salah. Come. Start. Start. Allah is waiting for you. Allah is waiting for you eagerly. Make something of your life, my brothers. You know, Allah, the brothers were showing me what they do in Syria and that. For Allah, imagine you're someone who made a difference in the world. Sometimes you think, yeah. What's a hundred dollars gonna do in the box? What? But sometimes you put money in the box and that money goes to buy a package or it goes to buy some food or it goes to buy a blanket and then people go to someone somewhere around the world who needs it. And that blanket covered them up and it made them warm. But you contributed to humanity now. Imagine you're someone who goes out and cause people back to Allah. Imagine you're someone who puts the love of Allah back in people's hearts. Wallahi, my brothers, the world is lost. Wallahi, people have lost hope, Muslims included. And wallahi, sometimes just telling people about Allah makes all the difference in the world. Man. But who's going to do this? Me? How many people can I visit, man? I'm one man, wallahi I am. Every one of you now, didn't you hear something? Didn't something move you? Get out to the thousands of people that you know. And tell them. And call them back. Wallahi, my brothers, victory in this world is only through the deen of Allah. People think, brother, we're living in tough times. There's a lot of confusion. Allah Azza wa Jal says in Quran, lakum dinakum. Allah says, today I have perfected your religion. The Prophet of Allah says in the authentic hadith, I left you with two things. So long as you hold on to them, you will never, ever, ever go astray. No matter what age you live in. I leave you with the Quran and I leave you with my sunnah. So long as you hold on to these two things. Not Quran and Sunnah, how you understand it. 
Not Quran and Sunnah, what you think is good and bad and let me... No, 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 no. Quran and Sunnah, how the Prophet of Allah and his companions understood it and applied it in their lives. That Quran and Sunnah. Your Quran and Sunnah is confusing the world. No, no, no. I'm talking about the Quran of Rasulullah and the Sunnah of Rasulullah that changed and conquered humanity. That Quran and Sunnah. You come back to that. And you watch and see the change in your life. What is our current modern understanding of Sunnah? When I tell you, brother, this is a Sunnah of Rasulullah, how does your mind interpret that automatically? I'm looking for someone who's honest enough to tell me.